Hi Special Agents, this is Commander G here to help you with the arithmetic paper and this week's top secret tips are all about additions. Okay, let's break it down into the separate skills. So you will do a Special Agent task called an arithmetic paper which will have lots of different adds, subtracts, times and divides. This week we're, you, we're going to just concentrate on the adds. Now the first additions on this secret agent task are usually really easy. Just pop the answer in the blue box. 5 add 1. 5 add 1 is 6. No practice needed there, special agents. Well done. Sometimes they try to trick you by putting the smallest number first in a sum. Don't panic. Put the biggest number in your head and then add the other number. So 2 add 7 equals what? First of all, which is the biggest number? That's right, you're going to start counting from 7. So put two fingers up, you've turned the sum around, which you can do with adds. 7 add 2. 7 add 2 is 7. 8, 9. Well done. Fantastic. Super work. So don't panic if the biggest number is at the end. Move it around. Let's practice this skill. So 1 add 8. Which is the biggest number? That's it. 8. What's 8 add 1, special agents? That's it. 9. Fantastic. What's about 3 add 5? Five? 5 is the biggest number. So turn those additions round. 5 add 3. 5, 6, 7, 8. Fantastic. What about 3 add 6? Which is the biggest number there? 6 is the biggest number. What's 6 add 3? 6, 7, 8, 9. Don't worry if you need to use your fingers, special agents. We can use all our mental and math skills here. What about 2 add 9? First of all, which is the biggest number? 9. That's where you're going to count on from. And you're going to add 2 more. 9, 10, 11. Fantastic secret agents. Wonderful work. Okay, sometimes you have to add two multiples of 10, which is not as tricky as it looks. First rule of these maths tests is not to panic. So 10 add 20. Start with the biggest number again. Start with 20. What's 20 add 10? What's the next tens number when you're counting the 10 times table? 20 add 10 is 10, 20, 30. Well done if you knew that without my help. Fantastic. Okay, let's practice this skill. So 10 add 80. Don't panic. Start counting on from 80. What's 80 add 10? 80, 90. Well done. What about 10 add 50? 50 is the biggest number. Add 10 more. 50 add 10. 50, that's it, 60. Well done. Now you must read every sum carefully, special agents, because not, ev not every question will want you to do the same thing or add the same amount. But special agents never rush, that's a top tip. So 20 add 50. 50 is the biggest number. We're not adding 10 this time, we're adding two lots of 10. So two fingers up, 50, 60, 70. Well done if you knew that without my help, special agents. What about 10 add 90? Well, 90 is the biggest number. 90 add 10 more is 90, 100. Fantastic, adding multiples of 10. Sometimes questions ask you to count on past a multiple of 10. This is called crossing 10. Just count on five more from 37. We can do this one, special agents. 37 add five. Five fingers up, let's keep counting from 37. 37 in your head, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42. Well done if you got that one. Let's practice these skills together. What's 48 add three more? 48, did you get 51? 48 is the biggest number, add three. 51, well done. What's 19 add 5? 19 add 5 more. So 5 fingers up, 19 in your head, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Fantastic secret agents. What about 27 add 7? Put 27 in your head and count on 7 more. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Well done. What about 26? Add 6. 26 in your head and count on 6 more. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Fantastic secret agents. Let's look at this question. 4 add 81. Don't 
get nervous all you need to do they've put the biggest number at the end to try and trick you you need to put the biggest number in your head and add the other number so let's turn 4 add 81 into 81 add 4 let's put 81 in our head and add 4 more 82 83 84 85 well done don't let them trick your special agents let's practice this skill together so for 4 add 84, 84 is the biggest number isn't it? Put 4 fingers up and count on from 84, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, well done. 5 add 56, no let's do the biggest number first, 56 add 5, 56 in your head, 5 fingers up, let's go, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61. Well done, special agents. What about 3 add 71? 71 is the biggest number. That's what we're going to start counting from. Add 3 more. So 71, 72, 73, 74. Well done, special agents. What about 6 add 64? Don't panic. Start counting from 64. That is the biggest number and count on 6 more. 64. 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. Well done, special agents. Sometimes they try to trick you by asking you to add three numbers. Don't panic. Look for number bonds to ten or doubles and add them first and add that to the biggest number. We've done adding three numbers in class. Okay, so I can see that three and three make six double three is six so now i've got 30 add six and the six can pop the zeros place pop goes the zero 30 add six makes that's it i can hear someone telling me that is 36 well done let's practice this skill together then guys so we've got four add 50 add four 4 add 50 add 4, don't panic, find the doubles first, so we've got 4 add 4 is 8, so we've got 50 add 8, tell someone at home what the answer to that sum is, that's it, 58, well done, what about 1 add 20 add 1, step 1, look for the doubles, 1 add 1 is 2, 20 add 2 makes, that's it, 22, well done, what about 3 add 70 add 3, so we've got double three is six, 70 add six, that's it, 76, well done. We've got two add 40 add two, find those doubles first. We've got double two is four, add 40 is 44. Super special agent work, fantastic. Sometimes they try to trick you by leaving the first number blank. To work this out, you can work out 20 take away 8, as this will help you work out the missing number. You could also use your number bonds to 20 to help too. So something add 8 is 20. Well, addition is the opposite to subtraction. So if we do 20 take away 8, if we want to subtract, we've got to jump back. If we get 8 fingers up and count backwards from 20, it will tell us the other number. So 8 fingers up, 20 in our heads, let's count back. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. And 12 add 8 is 20 and so 2 add 8 is 10 10 10 and 12 add 8 is 12 20 your number bonds could have helped you there let's practice and don't worry too much about this skill special agents we're going to have more intense training in class this is just to keep your mind fresh with these top secret tips so you feel confident about your abilities okay so something add 5 is 20 let's do 20 take away 5 so 5 fingers up let's count backwards 20 19 18 17 16 15 well done something add 6 is 20 let's do 20 take away 6 because we always subtract from the biggest number so 6 fingers up let's count backwards 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 well done if you did it faster than commander G something add 7 is 20 what well, always goes with 7 to make 20 if you're not sure we can count back we got to subtract 7 fingers up count backwards from 20 20 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 well done what about something add 9 is 20 20 take away 9 unless you know what always goes with 9 to make 20 and then you'd be faster than mrs g so nine fingers up let's count back 20 count with me 19 18 17 16 15 14 13 12 11 fantastic special agents well done 
Now, sometimes you need to do two jobs to get the answer. So they give you some squares to help you show you're working out. If the ones in both numbers add up to less than 10, you can use the arrows to add the tens and ones. So 54 add 22. So I would do add the tens first. So 5 add 2. 50 add 20 gives you 7 tens and 4 add 2 gives you 6 ones. So 54 add 22 is 76. Let's practice this skill together. So we've got 34 add 24. Let's concentrate on the tens first. We've got 3 add 2. 3 add 2 is 3, 4, 5. That would give us 5 tens. Now let's look at the units. We've got 4 over here and 4 over here. 4 add 4 is 8, so 34 add 24 is 58, well done. Let's try another one, 61 add 15, add your 10s, add your 1s. So let's have a look at the 10s we've got together, we've got 6 and 1. 6 add 1 is 7 10s, well done, and we've got 1 and 5, put the biggest number in your head, 5 1s add another 1 is 6, so 5 add 1 is 6, and 61 add 15 is 76. Don't worry too much about this, secret agents will be doing lots of this in class. The hardest type now is they give you two jobs to do, but it's a sum that you can't just do the tens and do the ones because if we've got we've got 17 which has seven ones and 48 which has eight ones and that makes more than 10. So we might use we need to use a number line to add jumps of 10 first and then jumps of one to get your answer. So 48 is where I'm going to start because that's the biggest number. And in the number 17, the other number that I'm adding, that's 110. So I do 48, add 10 is 58, and then 7 jumps of 1. 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65. Now this is a really, really tricky skill. So don't worry about it too much. I want to show you on this video. We will be doing it in class. Okay, so... 38 add 14, draw a number line, this is the hardest addition you'll be asked to do in your special agent task. So we're going to start by putting 38 at the beginning of our number line because when we add the number gets bigger. Now forget about the number 38, it's the second number that tells us what we've got to do next. We're adding 14, so that's one jump of 10 first. So 38 add 10 is 48, well done. Now we've got to look at the ones in the number 14. It's got one 10 and four ones, so we need to do four jumps of one. One, two, three, four. And then we need to label them so we don't forget. Add one, add one, add one, add one. Now we're counting in ones. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. And we've got to make sure we put the answer after the equal sign. I don't know why the number 52 is jumping around like that, boys and girls. Look at that. That is a lot of work to get that point, but we'll be practicing special agents. You can do it if you take your time. A good special agent never rushes. Okay, well done. Well done, secret agents. Don't forget to come back as many times as you need to. Okay, let's do one more. 49 add 12. So step one. 49 at the beginning of your number line. Forget about the number 49. Now look at the number 12. That's one jump of 10. So draw your big jump, label it, add 10 and add 10. The 10's number will go up by 1. 49, 59. How many 1's are in that number? Two 1's. Let's draw two jumps of 1. 1, 2. Number line, we've got to label everything. Add 1, add 1. Counting ones now, don't get don't get confused. Read your own sums, read your own what you've done yourself. 59, 60, 61. So 49 add 12 is 61. Don't forget to put the answer. Okay, special agents, I'll see you next time when we'll be learning all about subtraction. Don't tell anybody else this video exists. It's for your eyes only. Bye for now.